Hello and welcome to my vlog. Um, been a little bit uh, of an absence. Um, it's probably been about a week since I made a video. Um, I was dealing with some uh, depressive issues from being in the uh, coronavirus isolation stuff for the past two plus months now. It, it all started around the time. I live in Pennsylvania and um, you know, they uh, extended the uh, state home orders until June 4th, which is the day after my birthday. Thank you very much. So I got to spend my birthday alone. But anyways, um, and there's other things coming up over the summer, too, that, you know, I'm looking forward to. But, you know, I just kind of have this steady decline through just feeling really, uh, you know, worn out. I wasn't sleeping well, as I think I talked about in my last uh, vlog of tales of an insomniac, which, um, cause I've had, a, I've had, hi I've had a history of insomnia. So, um, you know, that's, that's been an ongoing issue and same with depression. Um, so after a couple weeks, um, I guess around, I want to say May 10th, you know, I just noticed I was gradually declining and declining and declining and feeling more and more depressed. And I had just finished up uh, my transcranial uh, magnetic stimulation in uh, towards the end of April. And throughout the course of that, that treatment, um, what they do is they magnetically stimulate your brain to produce the chemicals that medications uh, do. Um, and through that course, we started lowering my Lexapro. So I was down to like five milligrams. And all things considered, pandemics and whatnot, probably just I needed a little extra. So yesterday and today I boosted it back up to the original 20 milligrams that I was on when I started. Might be a little too much because I felt like I had the zoomies all day, but I got a lot done. So there's that. And I feel a hell of a lot better. Um, so I, I'm going to see, you know, what milligram. I don't maybe 10 or 15 might be better than, than 20. Um, but... I feel better, so that's good, and I'm much more functional than I was. I think I got more done today than I had in the past two weeks. Um, so decided to just make a little quick vlog update on what's been going on. So, um, do you have anything to say, Corey? My cat Corey's sitting here over to the side, just watching me. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just uh, set up in my bedroom. I actually kind of like the lighting up here better for doing the vlog stuff because I get a little more mood lighting and, you know, I've got, you know, the backdrop. Although I've been considering, because I do a lot of astral work, I've been considering like, should I move my just entire altar kind of, well, I have altars spread out all over the place, but should I move the bulk of my altars stuff into my bedroom since I do a lot of work here? I don't know. Like some people are like, yeah, no, don't do that. Um, and others, you know, I mean, I do some stuff up here anyways on my vanity. I mean, that's just all personal stuff for me, but, um, with the great Kitty Buster, um, looking over from the great beyond, um, but yeah, that was just something I random things I was thinking about. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um. You know, we're in late stage quarantine, isolation, weirdness. I'm about one step away from going Salvador Dali on everyone. Um, you know, one day you may just see me walking a lobster down the street. I will be wearing a face mask, though. So, you know. Um, they are starting to move uh, Pennsylvania into uh, the yellow uh, stage of reopening, but it doesn't really change a whole lot. It just means, you know... Some stores can be open, but, you know, if you can work from home, you should still work from home. Social distancing should still kind of be a thing, but smaller gatherings should be okay. Um, I don't know. I live in Philadelphia. It's a big city and it's Memorial Day. You may occasionally hear explosions in the background, which are people blowing up uh, fireworks in the street, which, you know, it's a city. We do that. It's, it's normally pretty awesome. Um, last uh, 4th of July, we had a really awesome down the street, lockdown, really awesome, like full on fireworks display. Um, city living. But, 
Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't suspect much is going to change for me in the coming weeks while we're, or for however long we're in the yellow zone, but before we go full on green, I can get back to whatever the new normal is. Um, so I might be able to see some of my humans more, um, socially distantly, um, which would be nice. Um, you know, provided they aren't like high risk or anything like that, like my, my parent, my parents and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. So until then, I'm just going to be doing my witchy shit. Um, keeping up with the vlog. I've got a backlog of some videos I want to do. Um, and things like that. So, um, I did in my spate of functionality today release two new products. So I had actually started these, um, a couple weeks, well, maybe like a week or so ago. So I have my Lilith flying ointment and my Lucifer flying ointment. There we go. So what I've been working on is a series of flying ointments specifically for doing work with different spirits or demons, whatever you want to call them. Um, deities. I don't know. It's up to you. I prefer to call everything spirits, but, um, so what, what I'm doing with this is it's a blend of sort of the entheogenic herbs that I normally use in my flying ointments, but I'm also cu coupling that with, the uh, botanical correspondences and or aromas associated with that particular spirit. So it's taken a little bit of research because apparently not a lot of people have written a lot about, um, especially in, in the de de demonic realm about that. I mean, I have a couple books that reference things, but um, you know, it's few and far between because I mean, I mean, just about every book like talks about, you know, Hecate likes this and, you know, Freya likes that and, you know, the, the standard kind of things. But, you know, there's a little bit, I, I have a couple things, a couple books that reference things more for the Goetia demons, but not, it doesn't include everything. So, um, so the purpose of these is to, um, enhance the experience of doing any kind of evocation work or invocations or summonings. Um, if you're working in the astral realm, which is something I do a lot, um, it's all good for that. Or just any kind of ritual that you're doing, you know, when you're, when you're working with different deities and spirits and demons and whatever you want to call them. So that's, that's the purpose. And, um, I really like, I, I've been doing a lot of work on my own with Lilith. So it was interesting, interesting to see sort of the difference using the particular flying ointment I made for, for Lilith. Things just seemed a lot more, because I was doing like the astral realm work. So things seemed a lot more vivid and clear, uh, more visually intense. Like sometimes I've found that, um, you know, in, in the astral realm, things can kind of take a little while to take it to really, you know, kind of come into form. So it's, it's a little sort of shadowy at first for me. So, um, I found, I found that, that the flying ointments were really helpful for that. And now I'll, I'll go, I'm done plugging my, my store. Um, they are available on my website, belladonnasbotanicals.com and fireworks. And the cats go running. <laughs> yeah. Fireworks are not going to cure the coronavirus. Fun fact. So anyways, fireworks are still going off in the background because that's a thing. And I just want to say to everyone out there, um, I'm doing okay. I'm hanging in there. Try not to go too crazy. I'd say I'm trying not to get too weird, but I really don't care about that. There's no, there's no turning back on weird now. Um, I'm going to be 45 in several days, maybe a week. I don't know what day it is. Um, like eight days, maybe. <laughs> I could be wrong. I'm also very bad at math. So, um, yeah, I'm a, 
be doing some more videos uh, coming up on uh, other things with fly ointments. I'm going to do some, I want to talk a little bit more. I'm going to do some videos specifically about my experiences with them because that's something I get asked about a lot. And um, I've been trying to diligently write about them um, in a way that makes sense. Um, I'm not always known for making sense, so there's that. And on that note, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out for the evening. Have have a good whatever time of day it is you're watching this. And mwah, much love to you all, and thanks to my Patreon supporters. And fireworks! Fuck yeah!